Good morning students. Hope you all are fine. In today's session, we will learn about Roman numerals from 1 to 100. Children, you all must have noticed your library in school. But have you observed it carefully? Let's have a closer look at some of the books. Some books have these special symbols on their spines to denote volumes. Some books have their chapters numbered with these special symbols. Many books have information in the front and these pages are often marked with these special symbols. These special symbols are named as Roman numerals. There are seven basic symbols used in the Roman numeration system. These are the Roman symbols for 1, 5, 10, 50, 100, 500 and 1000. The symbols are known as Roman numerals and their corresponding values are known as Hindu Arabic numerals. Remember that there is no zero in Roman system. How you can remember the Roman numbers? I value xylophones like cows do milk. Let's learn how to write the Roman numbers. These are Roman numbers from 1 to 12. Various numerals are formed by writing the Roman symbols in different combinations with the help of certain rules. Let's learn the rules one by one. Roman symbols 1 and 10 cannot be repeated more than 3 times. When we have a Roman number with the same numeral repeated, we add them for finding their Hindu Arabic equivalent. For example, in the Roman system, we can write 2 like this, 3 like this, 20 like this, but we cannot write 4 like this. But the Roman symbols 5, 50 and 500 are never repeated. For example, we cannot write 10 like this, 150 like this and 1500 like this. Rule 2. If a Roman symbol of smaller value is placed before another symbol of greater value, then the value of the resulting numeral is equal to their difference. For example, for finding the value of the given symbol, we need to subtract the value of the left symbol from the value of the right symbol. Thus, 5 minus 1 equals 4. 10 minus 1 equals 9. The symbols 5, 50 and 500 are never written to the left of a symbol of greater value. The symbol 1 can be subtracted from 5 and 10 only. The symbol 10 can be subtracted from 50, 100 and 1000 only. For example, we cannot combine Roman symbols like this. But we can combine Roman symbols like these. If the symbol of the smaller value is placed after the symbol of the greater value, the value of resulting numeral is equal to their sum. For example, for finding the value of the given symbol, we first need to find the value of each symbol. Then, we need to add their values. The value of this symbol is 5 and the value of this symbol is 1. Thus, after adding these two values, we get 6, which is the value of the given symbol. Similarly, we can find the value of different symbols like 10 plus 1 equals 11, 50 plus 10 equals 60. Here is a list of some Hindu Arabic and Roman numerals. Hindu Arabic numerals to Roman numerals. To convert a number into its Roman number, expand the given number into thousands, hundreds, tens and ones place. Consider an example 14. Expanded notation of 14 is 10 plus 4. 
Roman equivalent of 10 is this. Roman equivalent of 4 is this. Now place the Roman symbol 4 after the symbol of 10. We get the Roman numeral for 14. Similarly, 20 is expressed as 10 plus 10, which is equal to this. Children, it's your turn. Find the Roman numeral for the following Hindu Arabic numerals. Roman numerals to Hindu Arabic numerals. To convert the given symbols into the Hindu Arabic numerals, we first write the value of each symbol. Thus, the value of the first symbol is 10 and the value of the second symbol is 2. Now add both the values, that is, 10 plus 2, which is equal to 12. So children, get ready. It's again your turn. Find the Hindu Arabic numerals for the following Roman numerals. Time to stretch yourself. Find some books in your library that uses Roman numerals. Roman symbols 1 and 10 cannot be repeated more than 3 times. When we have a Roman numeral with the same numeral repeated, we add them for finding their Hindu-Arabic equivalent. The Roman symbols 5, 50 and 500 are never repeated. The symbol 1 can be subtracted from 5 and 10 only. The symbol 10 can be subtracted from 50, 100 and 1000 only. If a Roman symbol of smaller value is placed before another symbol of greater value, then the value of the resulting numeral is equal to the difference. The symbols 5, 50 and 500 are never written on the left of a symbol with greater value. When the symbol of the smaller value is placed after the symbol of greater value, the value of the resulting numeral is equal to their sum. So children, I hope you have understood the concept well. Thank you. Have a nice day.